Hello everyone, here's Andrea Brasolin. I'm application engineer in uh, DB Technologies headquarter in Bologna, Italy. So welcome to this video. Uh, today we will go to see together a um, case study about the show we did last year in Naples, in July, uh, with our customer uh, L'Altro Service. The show was in uh, Naples at uh, Arena Flegrea and the band was uh, Skankanensi, they are from UK. So we did this show with VO series, you, as you can see, and today I would like to focus with you about um, the remote control we used during the show. That is Aurora software, um, it's a free software you can download from our website dbtechnologies.com and is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. So first of all, let's see the venue. This is a SketchUp 3D file. So me and Mr. Francesco Fontanella from the rental company, uh, we did some uh, simulation and analysis to uh, decide the total amount of cabinet uh, to use for the show. And uh, with Easy Focus 3 uh, and our GLN, we decided to go with a stereo uh, system of L212, 16 cabinet each side. That was the perfect um, solution to have a smooth and constant coverage along the venue and to reach the right SPL for a rock and roll show. Uh, in this case, Skankanensi show is uh, very focused on the low frequencies. So, about subwoofer, we decided to go with 26 subwoofer S218, VO S218. It's a double 18 inch. And uh, we did this configuration uh, in arc array, central position. So, as you can see in the picture, yeah, you can see a big gap in the middle. But you know, show business and the tour manager asked us to create this gap because the singer in the middle of the show, she went down to the audience and then came back to the stage. So this gap was needed. Not perfect by an acoustical point of view, but the sound was good and no, no big problem about destructive lobs, etc. So we were happy. And last thing of the setup, front field, we use L210, VO L210, a double 10 inch array module to cover the first row of people and uh, to, to give them the same SPL, the same tone and uh, to bring down the sound image. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we did exactly the same of our prediction. Okay, now let's focus on how we did uh, the connection of our remote control to the system. So uh, we used a laptop in the front of house connected to the one unit rack RDNet Control 8 through a CAT5 cable. What is Control 8 is our translator between laptop and cabinet. And basically, this is the back of Control 8, it has eight lines output to go to the cabinet. Each line can drive up to 32 cabinets. So we used first line for left cluster, second line for right cluster, third line for subwoofer array, and that's line number four for the five modules of front field. Uh, so four master network cable. In these uh, pictures you can understand very well the four different positions and the four different master network cables. So, uh, before going through Aurora, I want to show you uh, this, that is the real position of our PA. But uh, my personal way of work in Aurora is to change this position in the layout and to have it in a quite weird uh, layout. Above two cluster L212 are on the left, subwoofer up, and L210 the front fill down. And uh, now if we open Aurora, you can see this is exactly like that. So L212 here and uh, subwoofer 
in this position and the front wheel here. Why I do that? Because when I need to select, for example, my top is so fast to have it close to each other. Or if I need to select my subwoofers, they are here, my front wheel. So for me, it's much, much faster. Uh, let's see together what we can do in the item page in Aurora. So if I go to select my tops, my L212, in the inspector tabs, we can see some of the main settings of the cabinet. Let's start from the HPF. So the crossover point of L212 was at 70 Hertz. Exactly the same for subwoofer. So 70 Hertz low PF for subwoofer. We, we didn't uh, overlapping. We decided to go with the same uh, frequency for crossover. And again, yeah, as you can see, we have some orange field. In Aurora, when you have an orange field, it means there is a mismatch of value connected to your selection. So in this selection, not every top has the same alternation. Why? Because we did a minus 3 dB attenuation for the last cabinet and a minus 2 dB for the second from the bottom because they were so close to the people. So let's go again to select some cabinets, the first four. So here you have the two main present of a line array module in the B technologies that is HF compensation and coupling. Uh, HF compensation present, it works to compensate the air absorption in distance. So we have eight step and we decided to go with number four with the upper one and we decided to go with number three with the central one and number two with the lower one. HF compensation use a shelving with FIR filter so a perfect homogeneous phase response in all the cluster with different HF compensation. And here you can see the coupling, so the second main present of cabinets. If I select all my cabinets, you can see coupling have to be every time the same for all the cabinets in a cluster. In this case, we used B. Uh, I have to say, we suggest for 16 cabinet to use D. But in, uh, in this show, the sound engineer, uh, sound engineer was uh, more focused on the mid-low frequencies and uh, we decided to give B preset that is more 1P at mid-low. So you can choose, you can adapt your system day by day with those two preset and it's very fast to adapt your system to your venue and to your music program. Okay, so let's see other things about this item page. As you can see, we have many colors inside every single cabinet. Uh, let's double click on one front field, for example, and let's go in the group tab. It's very easy to see in which group this cabinet is in. This L210 is in the group front field, in the group external front field, and in the group grandmaster. So I did that, and let's go to the group page to see why. This is the group page and those colors are the color we saw in the previous page. So this is the Grandmaster group. I did the Grandmaster group and my position is here. And the Grandmaster has inside all the cabinets. So in all the cabinets we did this EQ correction. This EQ correction is not the only things we do for everything. We did also a general alignment of all the PA of 9 milliseconds to take our PA back to the stage and to align with the stage. So you can do this without um, modifying any other 
uh, alignment you already did inside the PA. So uh, it's very flexible from this point of view. Let's see another group. This is the group of all the top, all the L212. Uh, very useful to do an EQ on only the top. And then I created a group for the left speaker and a group for the right speaker. Uh, during the tuning is very, very useful to have the chance with only one button to have only left, only right, and you can go faster with your tuning. Uh, as I told you in the previous page, front fill, a, front, a group for all the front fill. As you can see, uh, the alignment of the front fill are not done in the general group, but after that I create other three groups of front fill. The external one that has only the first and the last one, mid one and the central one, so only one. In this way, I can do different alignment for different position of my cabinet. And this is very useful. Only one audio cable, but I have the chance to uh, set up in different way every single uh, cabinet. So let's go to see subwoofer groups. As you can see here, I did one group for all the subwoofer and was useful to do the alignment of my array with the top, so 16 millisecond. And then I did seven groups for my subwoofer. So let me show you uh, why I did that. With a tabella, as you can see, my group sub A has the first and the last one, and the B, the second, the C, etc. So I split in a symmetrical group my cluster. And why I did that? Because if I have to do an arc array, I have to place delay in a symmetrical way. So in this way, it's very fast because I can, with only one value, I can give one delay to four subwoofer at the same time, etc. So with Easy Focus, we did the simulation. Uh, at the end, we decided for 90 degrees. Easy Focus uh, is telling me, yes, the delay is this one for the 13 stack you have. For sure, you can see it's symmetrical values. So I can go to the Aurora and in a second just place my delay value. Okay, so this is an example of how, of how to use group and for sure everyone has is a way to create the layout. This is my way and I can create some uh, volume tab for the groups etc. So it's, it's very fast. Let me show something more about this project. Uh, let's go back to the item page. And um, something that happens in this day is with the uh, different temperature. In the middle of the show, we had a high um, um, problem with the wall behind the last balcony. So a reflection of the high frequencies uh, with with the last uh, wall, we decided to cancel this, closing the mid way of the amplifier and the high frequencies way of the amplifier of the last one cabinet on both sides for sure. So in this way, we used the last cabinet only as a subwoofer basically. So only the 12 inch were playing and we fixed the problem immediately. So basically, Aurora is not only a good way to work during the tuning, but it's perfect also during the show. You have the show mode um, functionality that stop you to have the chance to modify delay or something else, but you can continue to see everything. You can double check what is happening inside the cabinet. You can see uh, meter leveling, you can see temperature of amplifier, frequency of the power supply, etc. So it's not only a very important tool 
for the tuning of the system, but it's only a very important tool for the monitoring of the system. So, this is. Uh, at the end, we did the show. Uh, the show was great, the sound was great, and everybody were happy, so this is the main point. Uh, we are very happy about Aurora. In the next weeks, you will find new version uh, of Aurora on our website, so go to check this and, uh, and let's download that. So, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you need any, if you have any question, we are um, ready at our maze. Uh, you can see after that. And uh, let's keep in touch. See you next time. Ciao.